Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, in the last episode, we finished up the campaign story mode with our uh, Shadow Assassin. That was a uh, Blade Vortex build, and he's still around, but I'm I'm kind of shelving him for now because we did the entire campaign with him, and I'm ready for something a little bit different. Uh, we're in the end game, I guess, now, ready to do mapping and. Uh, I know this is going to be another thing where I don't really have a lot of experience trying to figure it out, make it work. And another area where I'm just going to make lots and lots of mistakes. Um, assistance is much appreciated and your patience, especially, is very much appreciated. Especially since, from what I understand, the end game of this is extremely complicated and it's just going to require a lot of repetitious making mistakes and slowly fixing them. Because that's just the kind of person I am, that's the way I work. Um, at the moment, we currently have this Crimson Township map done, and I don't, I don't really understand yet how unlocking all of these other maps work. I think that we, it'll, I think that when you go into these maps, it'll drop another map that's adjacent to this one. So, I think if we keep going back into the Crimson Township map, it'll drop the next thing that I need, but I'm not really sure. And then also, I do have a bunch of maps in here that uh, I think we can try to do. Do we have a pier map? I saw pier on the... Okay, so Crimson Township versus the Shipyard versus the Desert Spring and the Bone Crypt. And then we have a wharf and a pier and an arcade. Do we have an arcade in here? I thought I saw arcade in here. Okay, arcade map. So that's a, that's a tier two map, a tier three map. So I should probably, I, I, I know I should probably, what do I need? I, I know there's a map stash tab, but I also would kind of like to wait for another sale before I do that. Uh, let's see. Maps, 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 maps. Map stash tab. So I'm guessing this will organize it by tier. And as much as I'd like to get this now, I think I'm just going to have to suck it up and wait because I don't want to buy it at full price. Um, so my my plan for this, uh, I'm going to name this series the Casual Mapping Series. Um, mostly because I don't, I'm don't. i not going to take this game that seriously. I know there's a lot of people who are really hardcore about it and they, they really want to like be super efficient and ex precise and have builds that are like super overpowered. Me, I'm just continuing to play because I actually kind of like the game and I just want to kind of enjoy my time with it. And, you know, if we get some good progression, we get some good progression. Otherwise, we're just going to do maps as best we can. And if I run into a roadblock because I don't have the gear or whatever, or I just don't understand mechanics, it is what it is. I'm a very casual player, and I'm going to take a very casual approach to this uh, to this series. And I'm not always going to be. I might not always be playing the same character every time either. Like I have this. I have this. Uh, I have this uh, Specter Necromancer build that I'm working on, um, and she currently has the ability to summon zombies and specters. And we have, also have the Absolution, which brings up some dudes. And then I also have some. Uh, let's see. One of my abilities has. Um, phantoms that brings some stuff in too and you know yeah summon phantasm which is attached to my raised specter so when my specter kills things it'll bring up a phantasm and just you know i'm slowly working to build up this character in addition to the other one i also have a uh, I, I switched over my i switched over my um my righteous fire chieftain into a righteous fire uh, inquisitor because i wanted to go with a uh, bone shatter build for my marauder guy so I changed him over into something else. So uh, I still have the Righteous Fire thing, but he's an Inquisitor now, and I have a Bone Shatter uh, Juggernaut, I think. And he smashes the crap out of everything, too. And then this this uh, this witch here is a minion build, and my minions really slaughter its way through things, but because of my low health and uh, I guess my, yeah, I have some pretty low resistances right now because I haven't figured out uh, getting the gear upgraded for her yet. Uh, she gets, She's pretty squishy when you get hit by certain things. So... Um, my understanding is that we can use currency, certain currency like the Val Orb here and the uh, Cartographer's Chisel. And then, um, uh, from what I understand, a well respected channel uh, recommended using Orbs of Binding on them as well. Um, 
I'm not sure about that quite yet, but we can always use the uh, cartographer's chisel to improve the quality of the map. And I guess the understand. I guess what I, from what I get from that is is that if you can improve the quality and also uh, add some different modifiers to it, it increases the number of items that you can pick up, which increases the chance of you picking up the next map that you need. So I don't really know about all of that. I think that for now, for the first few episodes that I'm doing here, I'm just going to do these tier one maps. And then I might experiment with using some chisels on them to increase their quality. Because I think right now, um, I just want to kind of finish one map of each type just to get these, just to get these unlocked so I can see what's available. Um, so yeah, why don't we take a, we have a bone crypt map here. Let's go ahead and take this, uh, and as I also do have the map facility in my hideout as well. I don't know if there's a way to spawn in my hideout when I come in here, but I do have this map device here. Um, I'm not ready quite yet to start tinkering with the currency, especially without any kind of guidance. So we're just going to pop this in here, see if we can finish it. Oh, hold on. Uh, where did I put Kirak? He's in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. So he has missions. That's the trail. Uh, is there a reason you're not going to let me God talk slay. to you about missions? Uh, okay, let's go back to... Let's go back here then and talk to him over here and maybe then he'll get... Or maybe maybe his mission hasn't reset for me day. yet. Okay, maybe that's the case. All right, so like I said, this whole series that I'm doing, it's going to be super casual. It's going to be slow. I'm not ta I'm not rushing. I'm not trying to take. I'm not trying to like hurry up and get through anything. Mostly just because, in my initial view, this just looks like a massive grind fest to me. So I'm, I don't know. Let's hop in here and see if we can get this done. I haven't been to the Bone Crypt yet. I don't want to mess with that. That just adds a bunch of monsters that, that are just going to make what's already difficult even more difficult. Didn't realize I didn't have my abilities up. I'm going to stay over here and let my minions handle all of that. I do need to get my absolution up so that uh, my the minions that come from that will show up and start dealing a lot more damage. Get these guys. I forgot. I, I keep forgetting I have convocation available to bring my minions up close to me. Get those guys in there and on the front line for me. So I don't know if there is a boss. Bone Crypt, Standard Leaf, Short Allocation. I don't know what any of that means. So I don't know if there's a boss or if we're just supposed to clear the map or what the deal is with this, but uh, get in there, guys. Come on. Okay. I really like this build because of the minions that I have really get in there and start smashing things real hard. Okay. Yeah. I really need my guys to stop uh, following me and like going to attack things. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'll be swapping back and forth between uh between my this witch here between all the different characters i have i have a blade vortex rogue i have a bone shatter juggernaut i have a uh righteous fire inquisitor and then i have this raise this uh, raising specters uh witch that comes from the poe vault uh website so we'll see how well it goes this this particular build was not labeled a league starter but it's been working really well for me so far so we'll see how well it goes at some point, I'm supposed to switch away from using Absolution. Once I get to, once I get to the point where I have uh, four Spectres available to me, I'm supposed to switch away from Absolution and start focusing on really, really beefing that up. But I'm not there yet. Right now, my max Spectres is three, and I can have up to seven zombies. I believe that I am going to end up getting a piece of gear that increases my ability to uh, raise one more of each type of minion. I think I actually already have one. Do I have one? I thought I had, um, I thought I had an item that allows me to do that. Right, I gotta pay attention because we're starting to get swamped by things. 
thought I had a piece of gear that gave me plus one to a bunch of stuff. Maybe not. Thought I did. Oh, there was a wand that would have given that to me, but uh, it wanted a ooh, it wanted a it wanted a thirty percent uh, a thirty percent reduction to my life to get it, and the, that, the price for that was just too high for me. Okay, I'm definitely gonna take the hobbert because we can take something good out of that. That's some elemental damage that I don't really need. I could probably clear this map faster than I am, but as I said, I'm not really trying to be in a hurry. Um, my main goal at this point is just to kind of kill time until Path of Exile 2 comes out. Because like most people, I'm kind of excited for that. Um, I'm interested in what the story is going to be for that, and I'll be keeping an eye on it as we continue. 1400 mana over 5 seconds versus... Yeah, I already have that. Superior Divine Life Flask. That's cool. So the other nice thing about having a minion build is I can I don't have to constantly be on. I can just let my guys go fight for me and just Then I got to remember to bring my uh, minions back when they die. All right, keep going. I feel like I can kind of slow down a little bit because, like, I know I know the goal is to like zip through maps as fast as possible. But now that I don't have a, like a main story that I'm trying to get through, and the only thing that we have to do is just clear out maps, I don't feel the pressure, the same kind of pressure I had uh, before of trying to just like cram as much content in as I could. Now we're just kind of chilling and clearing maps, so. You know, some people are going to be cool with that, some people aren't. It's fine. I think um, I'm one of those people that struggles with not with uh, sandbox type things. I like to have defined goals, and it's making me kind of... It's, it's making me feel kind of weird to not have something that says, Oh, kill the boss, or clear the map, or whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. I mean, it says more than 50 monsters remain over here, so I'm guessing, uh... I'm guessing this is a map clear map, or is... If, is it gonna tell me that I'm supposed to kill a boss if it's a boss, if it's a boss map, or, like... I don't even really know how to tell the difference between uh, a clearing map versus a boss map, or whatever. Superior Assassin's Garb, a Zealot Helmet. Evasion rating. So we're just wait. I, I mean, I guess we're just waiting to clear out all the monsters. But then, on the other hand, I did re I did see a tip that said, you know, don't necessarily try to get every monster in the map if it's not an, if it's not an efficient thing to do. So ideally, as I do more of these, I'll get a little bit faster about it as I start to really ooh, as I start to really focus on uh, as I start to really focus on you know knowing what the hell I'm doing first and foremost. I'm not really much faster than this, but I'm kind of nervous about being in maps, so I'm just being a little bit extra cautious. I really need to get in the habit of convocating before I start attacking things so that everything's kind of in front of me before I do it. Still got more than 50 monsters left. Seems weird to me. I haven't really stopped to do anything, and it looks like most of the map is uncovered at this point. Oh, alright. We're down to the point where it's not telling me that there's a lot left. Eternal Sword. Crusader Helmet, Arcanist Slippers. But they don't have the... They don't have the... Sockets I need, so... 48 and uh, energy shield 48 versus 41. That's not really that big of a difference. So it's telling me we have 25 monsters left on the map. So let's uh, let's wander around for a minute and see if we can make that zero. 
No, we don't. Okay, here we go. They got this little spot over here that we missed. So eventually I'll get to the point where I'm going much faster than this, but for now... Ursine Pelt. I'm actually going to pick that up because uh, it is a entry-level item for my for my shadow. Achievement Explorer. Okay. So we killed all the monsters in this area. And then, is there a proper way to exit these maps? Can I just, you know, like exit the map and go back to the end is uh is there a way to close out the maps or does do you just have to start a new map okay there's no there's no portal there anymore oh no there it is so i'm gonna go back out through the portal here but i don't imagine it, i think the portals are still gonna be there right okay so i'm guessing the only way to get rid of these portals here is is to put a new map in or is there a way to just turn these portals off so i don't know eh. So now we should have, hmm. So what is it that makes these highlight the same way as this guy here? Bonus, kill boss of magic, boss of magic or higher version of this map. Oh, is it because, oh, okay. So, okay, uh, where am I going? Uh, stash, so. I need to upgrade one of these. So I'm going to be conservative right now and just do it this way. Okay, item rarity, item quantity more. Okay. So the the I, I watched a video that was that was giving me tips and tricks, and it was basically don't conserve your upgrade items. Upgrade the maps as much as you can to get to the point where you're increasing your item quantity as high as it can be, so that you can get as many maps as possible and you don't run out of maps. So I'm, I'm still not ready to do that quite yet. Let's do one more of these now that I've upgraded this to a magic map, and I want to see about getting that uh, upgraded the way I want it to be. Uh, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna take this and put it over here, and then I'm gonna put it in there so I can take a look at it with my rogue later. This is gonna get sold off. Um, I don't think. Well, hold on. Lightning resistance. We need to increase. Uh, now my lightning resistance on this character is actually pretty decent. I need to increase my cold and chaos resistance though. So. Not all right. We're just gonna sell that then. Uh, I think I can sell it to Kirak. How's the trail? And then this contains a two additional breaches. I don't know what this is for. So we'll just do that. We'll stick this in here. And then we'll head over to the map device. Pop this in there. Spawn a new map. And away we go. Alright, so ideally, we just have to clear out this... We just have to clear out this area. And once we clear it out with a, as, a, as a magic map, it'll unlock the next area. Or at least it'll make it, a, make it so that we can get availability for it. I don't know. I don't really even really know how the atlas works yet. I'm still figuring it out. Foot of the mountain. Oh, reach level 70 as a non hardcore player. Gotcha. We're going to try to go through this a little bit faster than we did in the previous version. Just go around the outside of the map for now. Just try to keep moving so that we don't take forever to do this. This guy killed off. Just try to keep on top of my convocation to keep my guys right next to me. It's going to be much easier to kill these things when I have my guys in front of me rather than getting slammed by a bunch of monsters right in my face. Kind of the point of a minion build. So we'll just go around the outside here just to kind of set the boundary.
part of this part of the build the way I have it right now is, is I gotta really keep on top of my absolution here because it's what summons a fair portion of my DPS. And I have to keep it active because as I kill monsters with the absolution, it keeps the ones that I've already summoned alive. So if I go too long without killing anything, I have to resummon them with my absol absolution anyway. That well, that was that was me being dumb. I got I got a little bit impatient. Let's get our auras up. We'll just go we'll just go around the other way this this uh, around the other way so that we're constant so we're still making progress. So now we'll go this way. Well, how about we go this way? See if there's anything in here. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, moving along, trying to be as fast as we can. Definitely need to get my... Uh, obviously, I need to upgrade my gear so that I'm not as squishy as I am. I also need to get my life sit my life sorted so that when I take hits, it's not such a devastating thing. I tried a couple of times to get the third of the uh, trials done, but he keeps one-shotting me because I think maybe one of my resistances isn't high enough, whatever resistance he's trying to hit me with, and in combination with the fact that I just don't have enough hit points. He one-shots me with a random hit, and then I, I'm, never, I'm never able to make it through. Get in here, make sure there's no monsters in this one. Stay over here. Still got more than 50 monsters in here, so got a little bit of exploring to do. Hey, orb of scouring, I'll take those. I'm really hoping that as we Did he die? Well, that was quick. I don't need a spirit shield for any of my characters, so we'll leave that alone. I'm really hoping that as we get higher and higher into the maps, more regular currency will drop, like the like the, the different orbs and stuff. Take the unset ring. Hey, fusing orbs. Definitely take those. Saintly chainmail. Uh, I'm actually going to take that. Well, I don't know. I don't think it makes sense. Should I should I be really focusing on items that have the sockets that I need, or should I be focusing on items that have better stats than? Because now that we're not in the campaign anymore, do I need to shift my focus, or should I just be looking for items that already have the sockets and stuff that I need? I'm going to pick this up, and hopefully my righteous fire inquisitor guy can use it. But I don't know. I don't really know what the so I'm not sure what the what the focus should be now here in the end game. Am I looking for specific types of gear and the sockets will come, or should I be looking for sockets and you know try to adjust the stats? Or what, what, what's my focus here? I'm, I don't really I'm not really sure yet. Oh, what the? What? I, oh, I wasn't paying attention. That's my fault. I thought I was up against a wall. I was actually up against a door. Well, it is what it is. Moving right along. We had something cool drop over here, though. Oh, bone crypt map. How convenient. You can get away from whatever those are. That's probably not a good thing. No monsters here. Man, that's really getting on my nerves. Nope, 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 nope. It's really getting on my nerves. I understand it provides it provides me with a buff or whatever, but it's still annoying. Titanium spirit shield and a lapis amulet. Oh, we got two monsters left. So now I gotta run around the map trying to find these last two monsters. 
So do I have to kill all the monsters for the map to have been counted as complete? Uh, I guess I should probably read the map. Where was I? All right, where am I going to find these last two monsters? Hmm. kind of wish it would kind of point you in the direction of where they are. Now I got to run around the entire map trying to find them. Um... <laughs> Oh, come on. Go around this way. Maybe this way? Super frustrating. So we have two monsters left. No idea where they are. Oh, there's one. There's the other one. One monster remaining. Ugh. Ah, oh, there it is. So, okay. Nothing changed when I did that, so I'm guessing... We can head out of here and back over into this, and then we check out. I mean, I guess I could. I guess I could have checked out my thing, but yeah, okay. So, kill boss of magic. Kill boss. So, is there is there a boss on every map, or are there different kinds of maps? I'm a little I'm a little bit confused by that. So, I'm guessing the I'm guessing the uh, hmm, okay. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to organize this by tier. How many other tier three maps? Uh, here, map tier two. All the rest of these are tier one, but I'm just going to leave some. I'm going to leave room over here because I imagine I'm going to mostly have tier one maps. And then as we get them, we'll continue to add. So, um, let me get my guide up, because as usual, I forgot to do that. History, raise specter, take a look at my tree here. And we currently are working on, what are we working on? So we got all of this and we're working on what? Hmm. All of that. That. Down here. Up here. That. All of that. All of that. All of that. That's weird. Okay, so they want me to go... Ugh. So what, am I supposed to... I really don't like the way... I. Some of these guys are kind of annoying because they they expect you to do a bunch of refunding of things. So they level you up in a, in a tree in a certain direction. So it, they have a leveling tree that goes from 74 and it has all of this the way I have it. But then I go to 84 and they basically want me to refund all of this so that I can go this way. And I'm it's super frustrating. So now I'm supposed to come up. I'm not sure. What am I... I'm confused because now they want me to come up from this direction over here and do that and grab these and then there's a bunch of stuff over here so that's really annoying okay so this tree has this going all the way up to here has us going this like that this like that and then it wants us to go up this way over here to get to this instead of coming up this way so that's really frustrating. And I don't think I'm going to do it that way because that's just a massive... I, I'm going to wait until I'm closer to the end before I start reallocating refund points and things like that. So I think what I'm going to do is is I'll just I'll follow the guide because all they really want me to do is get to 
here anyway, and I can just go there from here. So I could just go to this, and then to this, and then over here to the energy shield leech, which is what they're trying to get me to on this side. And then over here on this side, they want me to get to the aura area of effect, which I'm not sure what specifically... I think we're trying just trying to get to the mana reservation, is what mainly that's about. And then... Oh, we were already working on this. Spell block and elemental res... Oh yeah, we're definitely doing that. Okay. So they want me to go all the way around to get to... Uh, this is going to increase our elemental resistances, which is going to be good for me. So, ideally, that's going to increase that. And then for this, uh, the guy that I was watching basically told me to try to hurry up and get out to these as quick as I can, because it's going to... We want to do everything we can to try to get as many maps to drop as possible, so I'm just making my way up here. We're going to go all the way around here to get to that, and then we're going to do all of the... Uh, we're going to do all of the shaping things, wherever they are. But I forget, I forget where they are. Uh, I don't remember. But there's, there's, there's a bunch of shaping things that will make it so that we get more maps. Anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and call that an episode. Uh, next time we'll probably do the Inquisitor, just so I can show him off a little bit. Uh, but hopefully you guys had lots of fun. Be sure to click the like button if you did, so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing now, so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed, and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click the join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a channel membership, but would like to help out with the channel, you can always use the uh, YouTube's version of a tip with that join or with that thanks button. Direct contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.